What's going on guys? Welcome back to Trafish Aquatics. Today's video is just going to be a little bonus footage of my wife ordered a betta online and it's coming in the mail today so we are going to go pick it up. What do you think about us going to get a betta, huh? Huh? You enjoyed that shrimp. Look how much you ate. You don't care, you're just chilling. Okay, so I like betas or betas, however you're gonna say whatever they are. And were you gonna correct me? I just heard you inhale. <laughs> um somebody in our fish group on Facebook, because we have one that Trav made for Pennsylvania, um, said if you like betas you should go to this place. And they linked me to another group, and it's the... Am, am I allowed to say it? Is it, like, marketing or something? Like, free advertisement or something? Whatever. They have beautiful bettas. So, it's called Prism Bettas or whatever. And I wanted to get one nice, I guess, expensive betta. And then rescue the rest of them. So, I looked for whatever one I would like on this website. And the, they, they're usually $40 and up. And they had one on sale that nobody wanted that was bred in the USA. And it literally is like the most patriotic fish I've ever seen. I don't know if you want to like put a picture here or something. Yeah, I'll put a picture in right here. Okay. So, the name of America, it's a male. Uh, half moon koi papat, is that how you say it? Hmm. I'm trying to learn about all the different breeds. I personally don't want to breed. I don't think I'm responsible enough, and I would just make Travis do it. But <laughs> of course. <laughs> but <laughs> so I'm like a night shift person. I work nights. I usually go to bed at like four or five in the morning, and it's currently almost ten in the morning because I bought this betta from the website, and it came in the mail today, and it's currently sitting in Travis's lap. But. Uh, I had to stay awake. I'm only a little bit tired. <laughs> but I'm like five hours past my bedtime. I don't think I'm going to go to sleep today. I'm going to be too excited setting up all the bedas in the bedda rack that you made. So, I shouldn't hear you complaining when you say you don't have content you got to film for. Uh, <laughs> but I need to make more. I need to make more, as always. I have to write. <laughs> so... How many betas do we have right now? Hmm. We have pastel. Five? Who, oh, we got pastel um, at, what was that fish convention? The Aquatic Experience. The Aquatic Experience, which they don't do anymore, which is sad, because I enjoyed myself. But we went there, and they had a really amazing, like a beta, beta, whatever, community. I don't know what it's called, like the ultimate group, whatever, club. I wanted to be a part of it. It looked like you had to sign up for it and stuff like that, though. And right across from that, I don't know if you can do old footage, footage or something. They have the Prisma Beta people, this company that I bought from, and I knew I recognized their logo. So I already knew and I already talked to this person who owned this business months ago. So I'm kind of excited because I wanted to buy something from this person. I don't know their name. I would say their name if I did. This is like one big ad. I'm sorry. But <laughs> they look like they're a good fish keeper and importer, breeder, whatever. I mean, if that's your thing. But we got pastel from that, what is it called? The aquatic experience? Mm -hmm. um, because we didn't get an expensive one from the beta group. All the way on the other side of the building, they had throw a ping pong ball in a cup, and if you did it, you want a betta. And I, I couldn't pass that up. I had to do it. These poor little bettas are all sitting there. That's how we got pastel. You surprised me with Sandwich, which is the orange one. And his name is Sandwich because he's based off a video game character that I had for years. Um, then we bought Choke the other day. Choke is based off a song I like. And now we have America. I name all the animals, by the way. Every fish in the house has a name. Maybe, there you go, there's content. <laughs> Every fish in our house has a name, I, and I know them. I know them all, because I named them. Except for maybe 
have two. You have a Veta that you just got. You impulse bought when we picked up Choke. Mm-hmm. And I don't. You didn't name that one, so there you go. Yeah, not yet. So, are you gonna do a little unboxing? Uh, yep. Once we get home. So once we get home, we'll open this guy up and get him in the tank. And uh, yeah. I wonder if he's big or tiny. Like, I wonder if he's going to be, like, his body is going to be stompier. Because I'm learning about how body structure matters for this for this breed or whatever. Like, some of them have something like dolphin humps or something that's just, like, low quality or whatever. Right. I don't know. I'm figuring it out. But we'll see. Hmm. Interesting. Did you not know that? No. <gasps> I know something that you now know. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I guess we'll get home, we'll open this guy up, and we'll pick up the video there. Mm -hmm. So, we're gonna see just how good it's packaged. Ooh, don't cut towards yourself, I just realized. <clears throat> this would be a really sad story if it was not in my head. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, my lord. This is how you apparently, uh, oh, I did this all the wrong way. Oh, my god. First, you knock down a wall and take the insulation and shred it. <laughs> and then, uh, Put it in a bag so the shipper or the receiver of the shipping item thinks it has hope to not make a goddamn mess. There's the bag right there. <laughs> oh, he's cute! He's alive! Oh, he's a fat! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a fish! <laughs> it's a fish! Alright, so I definitely don't want to float that bag in any tank because it's covered in stuff. Oh, there's a heater in here. It's really hot. How's his temperature? Alright. Alright, so we just took the bag and rinsed it off. We figured that'll probably be a good enough for right now. It's alright, just lift it up. I'm reaching there and pull that lid off. Set it on top of the other tank. With the other two fish? Yep. and just drop him in and float him. And then in about 15 minutes, we'll go ahead and open him up and drop and plop. All right, so he's been floating for a while now, so what we're gonna do is I'm going to take him out and we're going to go to the bathroom. We're gonna cut the bag open, drain all the water out through a net, catch him in the net, Put him in a cup, that way he's in the air the least amount of time possible. And we'll bring him back, put him in the tank. And then um, later when the lights come on, we're going to leave all the lights off right now, let him acclimate to his surroundings. And then when the lights come on later, we'll get a little bit of footage of him just swimming around the tank. And that'll pretty much be it. And then uh, the next video, we're going to take all these tanks, we're going to scape them all out, add all the fish, and uh, yeah, it'll be fun. Where's the fish go? The fish is in the tank. <laughs> Processing. <laughs> All right. The only fish is in the big. Okay. So there he is. Wow, he's so pretty. So feisty. We go ahead and we're going to drop him in here. Oh wow, he, he really is bright. And we'll see him in a little bit. Yep, and when the lights come back on, we'll uh, get a little bit of video.